so day. <sighs> I know, right? I feel like I'm already tired. I'm already exhausted. Oh, look. I know, famous. Come on, photo. Where's, um, where's Asia? Where's Evie? Where is she? Everybody spoke to her. Evie had a gig. RuPaul's coming today, and you know, after everything that went down, I'm not talking to Derek. Everything is exactly how it has been and will continue to be. Hey, ladies. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Come on in. Basketball coach. <laughs> Clean shaven and ready to go. So I want to check in with you guys, see what's going on, see what's up. No injuries, right? None no yet. Injuries. Okay. None for us. And how are you doing uh, emotionally? Cameron's going through a lot right now. You look very sad. I mean, the guy that I have been seeing dumped me. And so it just sucks because maybe I wasn't emotionally ready for it to end, I don't know. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, these things because um, my emotions have always run deep. I've always been able to feel all of that. And listen, mourn the change, that's fine. Uh, you can look, but don't stare. You can look, but don't stare because it's a cycle. If you release the resentments, all of that is gone. Was it hard to date before George? It was hard. It was hard because I'd been falling for the exact same type of person. Sounds said, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so something I would do. You might want to meditate on that. Do you meditate at all? I'm trying to learn. He was actually one that told me to start meditating, so maybe well, that's then, some meditate. Maybe that's why <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he was put in my life to teach me how to meditate. I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, long distance just like does not work for well, me. You know, you have to customize for what you want. You know, George, you know, runs this 60,000 acre ranch in Wyoming. I see him every two weeks, three weeks. It's fine, it's fine. You're busy. Fine I'm busy, he's busy. He's busy. You know? That's the thing. You sacrificed your love for your craft. Honestly, we need someone that's in love with their work as much as we're in love with ours. That's right. And that's not easy to find. Derek's in a relationship with another drag queen. Yeah. Have you ever been in a relationship with another drag queen? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool to hear about Rue and George's relationship. You know, we got married in our living room, five of us in the living room. We got married in our pajamas. You know, they both have things going on, they're both busy, they both support each other, they see each other when they can. It's all I'm really asking for. You know, it just it takes you a while to like realize, even though it hurts or it's heartbreak, that yeah. it's like, there was a purpose for him to be there. Oh yeah. But I think for us, I think for us, you have to remember that you have a special power, you apply that, when the going gets tough. Drag queens are superheroes. I'm always interested in people who take the road less travel because this work is hard. So drag queens are, are magical to me. You're embarking on something that's never been done before. I, I want to check in with fearless people to remind me uh, how to be fearless. I'm with you guys here in Vegas doing something really big and really awesome and I know this is my purpose and this is why I'm here and nothing's gonna take me away from that. You are a superhero. So have a great show tonight. Thank you. All right, I'll see y'all out there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.